Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm introducing you Mutter. He is a 14 year old Pureras Española mix and he's a gelding and he is a dressage horse that hasn't been trained for a few years. Now he has been in the riding for a half a year. And I'm doing an English narrated dressage training video. I don't know if you have watched uh, similar videos before, but I've done one time this before and it was in Finnish, which is one of my native tongues. So we will see how, how I will be able to speak through this seven minutes long video. This day we were training dressage with Mutter. We were doing lots of counter work. And one of my favorite exercises, it's uh, walk and counter transitions. And Mutter, he is quite talented when he's doing those. The only problem is uh, going down to walk. There he has to carry himself. Um, and uh, if he doesn't have the strength enough, the transition gets a little bit uh, stiff, as you could see here. He wasn't completely through the whole transition and it got like very hacky, like this tense transition. But then when uh, doing the transition up to gallop or counter, he's much more balanced. And here in the right counter, you can see how he's tilting his head to the wrong way and he gets like this a spaghetti or a sausage kind of form. And, and that has to do that if he's not so completely through in his neck, he gets, yeah, he carries himself to the wrong, wrong side. So what's happening here? We are <laughs> we are walking, but Mutter is he's like so much forward that he doesn't want to walk. And yet another counter transition. Here it's uh, the right counter again. You can see that Mutter's ears are flopping, <laughs> like this wobbling around, and that's that that's what he does when he is listening to his rider. Some people think that the horse looks annoyed when he it has the ears turned back in riding, but Mutter isn't annoyed. He he's just listening and focusing on his rider. I really enjoy doing a walk and canter transitions. I've opened up my eyes to them recently because my trainer has uh, made us do those really very much. And doing a counter transition from walk can be very good because sometimes the trot can become a little bit hasty and when you are trying to do the counter transition your horse may be in the wrong wrong tact or trying to trot faster but from walk you have all the power. Here you could see that Mutter was uh, uh, tilting his head too much so I tried to s turn him a little bit to the outside to get him round again to the inside. And uh, there was another transition. That, that one was very good in my eyes. And here Mutter is cantering very, very good. But that transition down to walk, that wasn't good. And here you can see that Mutter is walking unevenly. And that tr transition to the canter, that wasn't approved at all. <laughs> My upper body got a little bit forward. And that's one thing that my trainer has tried to tell me not to do. I have to sit straight, not to fall forward. Here you can see how, how relaxed Mutter is when he's walking with long reins. He, uh, he is pushing forward with his hind legs and having an even good relaxed walk. And that is the thing that we are trying to train. Because when I collect the reins, he immediately gets more stiff and starts to... He's like walking very... Sometimes the, sometimes the steps are good, but then again he walks unevenly and in a strange tact. Here you can see immediately when I picked up the reins, he starts to do this. Uh, 
And now we are just trotting. Trotting around. I'm not doing anything special. Just trying to make him trot forward with a good tempo, carrying himself. When I'm riding Mutter, it's very important that he doesn't put his head or neck too low. He, he's not allowed to get um, heavy in the front, if you know what I mean. And that's actually important for every horse. They should never like be in this locked position with the neck. Always, always, always remember to use the power from your horse's hind legs. It has to push forward there and the power has to be in, in the back. Ride with your legs, not with your hands. It's always important to first have the energy to go forward and then think about how the horse's head looks like. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And as I told you in the beginning, this, this was my first time doing this kind of video in English. So I hope it wasn't too stiff or awkward. <laughs> but maybe see you next time and have a good day. Bye bye.